Hello everyone, it's Diane back again from Tattered Edges Design with yet another paper craft today. Um, I'm going to make collaged index cards, which I have been doing for a long time, as you can kind of see by this box. I started doing it with iCAD, if anyone's heard of that. It's just index card a day. It's a internet thing someone started about uh, in June and July. You're supposed to make some piece of art on an index card every day. So I did start with that, and of course I kind of went with collage, you can do whatever you want. But I've got seven years worth here of <laughs> iCADs, which I really didn't know I had that many. This is, this is the past year. And so yeah, I bundled, bundled them up and put them in a box, and I'm done with it. But usually, through the course of the year, or even in June and July, I make maybe more than one a day. But I make a ton of these out of magazines, um, they're not too fussy. I mean, like, look at this one. Not too much to it. I try not to overthink these. Um, you know, I might. But that's what we're doing. Let's give you some examples. And if people in my house stop buying shoes, I'm in big trouble. I'm not going to have a place to put on my stuff. So I've got my glue. A bunch of magazines, old, new, intermediate, of course, index cards. And I did actually just pull one image just to get a start here. And some vintage text. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with her. And I kind of tend to, um, like I said, not try not to overthink these. Try to make them a little more, if I can say, collage looking. If that of makes any sense to you like here I'm just gonna grab this because of the colors and I'm gonna save the big page number there for something but I like to do this um, when I can't really think of what else to do I like to do it in the evening if I have time it's kind of an easier type yeah, not super involved. Like I said, I try not to overthink, but if you're like me, that usually happens anyway. I mean, this is a brand new catalog. But like, or like, look at that. That's kind of cool. So you never know where you could find fodder. Let's take some of these. Thank you very much. And the locusts are buzzing. I don't hear too much else. Too much else? Too much other noise, though. Too much else. And sometimes I look for, you know, a word or a sentence or something to go on them. Sometimes I don't. Alright, what are you growling at? My dog's growling out the window. Well, get under there. Oh, it's like in here. It's neighbors behind us are out. Big deal. Hey, stop. I'm stopping. <coughs> All right, hold on. Let me tame <coughs> the dog. Okay. Crisis averted. We know the neighbors and back are out. And while I was off for a minute there, I found this. It's I mainly pulled it because of the color, but sun kissed. It's kind of cute. It's, she's all on gold here and stuff. Uh, maybe this should be over here more. And yeah, I suppose we're going to have another session of dying going, well, I don't know, well, you know what I think? I think I'm going to cut this gold away so I can have those nasturtiums under her more. And then maybe when I get this one done, or close to it, I'll pause and um, maybe pull out other images. Yeah, I don't know. I, at this point, where we're at now, I, I haven't had many comments, so I don't know if people, I mean, do you want me to go through magazines? This is where I got this one. 
Do you want to see all this baloney of me looking and going, I don't know, what about that? I, I don't know. I mean, I kind of assume not, but maybe I'm wrong. What do I... All right, that's kind of good to go. I'm going to just start gluing. Like I said, I'm trying not to be too, too over-analytical. I think we need a new toothpick here. So what's going on? What is today? Tuesday. I don't know anymore. You know how days used to have a feel, you know, it feels like a Sunday or something. I don't think that's true anymore. And sometimes I paint on these, sometimes I sew, I don't know if I mentioned that, sometimes I paint, sometimes I sew. I rarely rubber stamp on these. But I did not grab paint. Uh, I can't always sew. Um, I don't remember where it was and I'm not sure how I want it. Well, I think we want this area off. It looks kind of dorky. What if we kind of line, well, make it a little higher on the other side. Go around her lip there. Okay. Yeah, that's better. I don't know, you're kind of thinking. This catalog is actually nice paper there for a, just a catalog. Although I noticed it's from 2001, I think, so maybe nowadays they don't use such nice paper, huh? All right, girl. Back up a little bit. All right, we're going to start in with the Barkies, I think. We have this, like, you know, the neighborhood watch system where one dog barks and then it kind of goes down the house as, you know, what's he barking at? And then they have to bark. What are, what are they barking at? And then they have to bark. Most neighborhoods are like that, hmm? I'm not talking much. I use up all my talk today. I don't know. I have been busy today. Not that I'm not every day, but I guess I have a right to be a little more quiet. All right, I want this down here. I'll bring this up for you guys up. Well, I think up here. It's a little more involved in what's going on there. And so I'll we'll ask the question once again. So what do you do with these things? Well, as you see, a lot of them live in a box in my house. But you can, like I said, make them into journal cards note card, you know, write a note on the back, glue it to a note card, send it to a friend. You know, if you absolutely love it, frame it. It's, it's art. Frame it, put it on your wall, or just tape it to your wall. Thumbtack it to your bulletin board. Okay, I think that's sort of kind of done. But I might want to sew across here, but the glue is wet, so I can't. So I'm going to leave that for now. I think I'm going to pull some images. It's about dinner time. We'll probably pick this up tomorrow. But I wanted to get a start on it tonight. So I'll pause and pick it up later. Okay, we're back. And yes, it's another day. So here's the one we did yesterday, which you guys just saw like one second ago, right? I'll turn this edge. Oh, 
Okay, we'll set her aside. And as I said, I didn't do any prep. I don't know what I'm doing. Why did this come out? It's not telling us. Ooh, look at that. La 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 la. I can't I don't know. If I see a oh there's the whole the whole get up. <laughs> okay, I like I like the sweater, although not wild about the colors, but those sock things, I don't know. If I find a copyright, I'll announce it. Wow, look at that. Isn't that cool? I'd like that to have for real in my house. Well, these are pretty big. Smartly casual. What are you offering us? Well, all I did was watch Sam flip through magazines. She didn't actually do anything. <laughs> okay, I guess you can tell by my laughing. The pose just is something else. What about this girl? Or what's on her reverse side? Alright, we can sacrifice that. Alright. Now, that green back in the background is pretty cool. Let me save it. No, we kind of cut it out, sort of dumb. This one looks a little more 70s with the hair and stuff. I don't know. It's not going to tell us either. Oh, it's from Spinnerin. Yeah, it's a well kept secret. Well, that's kind of cool. Something obviously over there. Transfers. Why do they still work? Those are cute. I should try that. Huh? And our covers coming off. Well, we can always go the text route. Um, what about maybe something artsy? Well, what if we stayed with the mod look here and went... I don't know if you can see what I'm cutting. Add an element of surprise to everyday furniture. I don't think I want this frame. It's a little too severe. And I do have muffins in the oven with the timer set, so I will try to catch that before it goes off, but shoot, now I don't know which way it went. <laughs> oh, this way, okay. She's saying not bad. And she's saying, I'm saying not bad again. I think maybe we'll cut this side closer. Well, except for the sirens I just heard, it's been relatively quiet this morning. better. I want that out. And that, I know, is a pain in the brain. I'm not... got my exacto here. I don't know if I want you to watch me do this. A lot of the times, 
the blade isn't that sharp and that's my downfall. Like now, I think. Let's see. Oh, that's that's okay. All right, that's kind of fun. Dreamy landscapes. Dreamy. It doesn't look like she's thinking, but I think she's thinking. She's not dreaming. What else do we have here? Doesn't that look like, I don't know if many of you are going to know what I'm talking about, but Harold Lloyd in, um, oh shoot, <laughs> Safety Last, when he's hanging on the clock. I keep thinking I should do a collage and use that for that. Has a talent. That's sort of intriguing. Hmm. She has a talent. I don't know if you could hear that train whistle in the background. I mean, think years ago, I lived really close to train tracks that were, that's kind of neat, you know, went over a main road, so they had to blow their whistle, obviously. But man, I, I remember some of a friend over, and he's, we're saying something about it, and he says, well, you, get, you know, you get used to it. And I go, no, you don't. I never got used to that. I think that's fine just like that. We're trying not to overdo and overthink and et cetera, et cetera. Ooh, where the glue is active today. Almost dropped a big glue glob. Not that everyone has to watch me glue. Oh, we couldn't see your glue. Gosh. How disappointing. I hope this card is blank, yeah. Of course, vertically, it doesn't matter as much. I think we need this much on the bottom. It's kind of cool paper. It's like, it, you know, it's more matte of a, it's not totally matte, but it's not shiny, shiny. In between. I suppose that's really interesting too. Wow. She found a magazine paper that's not matte and not shiny. I'm so glad I tuned in. <laughs> Yeah, I guess Diane is very sarcastic, isn't she? What can I say? I think it's where I was brought up. Oops. <laughs> yeah, let's let's bend it in half. What do you think her talent is? I don't know. Maybe she's an artist. Doesn't she look like an artist? 
Not that there's a certain look, but I remember when I was getting my hair done years ago, and the beautician, you know, blah, 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 is asking me, you know, what do I do? And I said, oh, I'm an artist. And she goes, oh, you're kidding. Usually they have, like, you know, spiky pink hair or something. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think that's good. Um, I probably will sew on this one. So it's not done done. But it's done enough to set aside. And I think we have enough time to maybe grab another image out of something. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't looked at this one. What are you? You don't have a date on your cover either. 68. Well, they're 68. There ought to be some cool stuff in here. It's time to get organized. These are too big. Too big. Little girl. Think of how old that little girl is today. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Well, I don't know if these are going to help us. I think they're all too big. Well, I gotta pull out poster board to make something out of that. Well, here's another art one. Same thing, unless this is the same one I'm looking at. No, because I cut that. Well, these are pretty, but I think to me that's more of a background thing. So let's find a front ground thing. Well, here's that again. Ooh, sexy. Uh, Years ago, my mom crocheted uh, two dog sweaters for two pugs. It's actually really cute. Well, what about just an outfit, an ensemble? Although I don't think this is going to go with those flowers I have sitting here. See, I gotta, you know, keep an eye on the time, keep an eye on am I recording? All the pressure. Yeah, I will say doing videos like this when you're you know, for me crafting, doing art. I like it, it's fun. But there is a little more like it's I don't know if this is safe work, but you know what I mean. There is more to it. And, oh, the camera crash. <laughs> if I wasn't filming, I wouldn't have that problem. Well, Diane, no one's got a gun in your back. I like that. I like the color. But I mean, kind of lost. We definitely need some help here. I don't know what's in here. I think we're gonna find just more like. Well, that's something. There's some purples right there. That's fine. Do we need words or something? It's kind of cute. 
little, I don't know why you want books, but it's a tissue holder. <laughs> I like the books. I don't like the fact that it's a tissue holder. Well, what about this? Even though they've, they're kind of cutting into the, well, how about this one? How many out there of you out there have made embroidered pillowcases? I've made two sets, and then I got lazy and used um, fabric markers on one. You know, in the design, which actually that turned out really nice. I was really pleased with that, <laughs> and I got it done in like you know, I don't know, 20 minutes. Alright, I like that, but we need a word. Right, give me a word. Unexpected. Unexpected style. Okay. Solved. I think we're getting close to the timer might go off. Let me trim this and lay it on quick and then I'll I'll pause and go check the oven. That's too many little things. We want it up here, or I could cut it apart. Right, you think about that. I'm going to go check the oven. Okay, the muffins are out, and another batch is in. And I'm going to hang glue this down. This is what I did. Is that, oh, is that what you would do? And I added that page number from the previous session there. Okay, and I, yeah, I have to trim this, but okay. And then I went ahead and I decided, you know, you've seen enough dime flipping through and I'm going to flip through in a minute anyway. So, just be different. That's a petunia. It doesn't look like it, does it? But that's what they said. And I thought you got these little ladybugs out of the same catalog. It was kind of something. I did see a real ladybug in my yard this year, which I haven't in a long, long, long time. Oh, there's the... Anybody that watched the APC video, that's where I got that picture. That's good, although I don't think we want American goat on there. At least I don't. Oh, and I think my husband came home. Alright, I'm going to pause again because my dogs are going to bark and I'll goof around with this. Okay, we're back on the air and it's been, what, <laughs> four hours or something. So I don't know what I was talking about. But anyway, I did pull a few in image, you know, kind of main images certainly isn't enough, but we're going to pick it up here. And I don't know. Yeah, so I have three. If I'll do three more, I, I'll do the three more and then maybe stop. I I could do this stuff all day long. You know, if it wasn't for eating and life in general and got to run errands and make money and all that, I would do this all day long. Oh, this says fall in height. That's appropriate, but I wonder if I'll cover it up inadvertently. And yeah, we've got trombone practicing in the background. So if you're not a fan, I apologize. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I, I, I do that, don't I? I do something and I have to give an opinion right away. Where's a cute dog on the side there? What if that is? 
almost looks great Danish, but they don't come in that color. And what are you? Cute, whatever he is. I think we're just going to leave that there. I, like I said, if this was more, you know, a real collage type thing I was doing in a bigger scale, I'd probably cut that out. But I think for something like this, it's okay. Well, I don't want this over that. Okay, then we have enjoy. But we did cover up fall, the word fall, I mean. We want maybe one, two, three is too much. Just one, two, or two, three. What about two, three? Just to be a little different. All right, that's kind of neat. And here comes another siren. It's going in the opposite direction. Well, the locusts are quiet. Do I get any points for that? Which I don't know why they're not buzzing. It's sunny and fairly warm. Okay, stop spazzing down there. Probably will. I mentioned this so on some of these. So, 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 so. How many times can she say so? When these are done and the glue is dry, I'll do that and then off camera, I mean, do that. Cute. Well, did I use up my talk once again? I don't know. Nothing's coming to my brain. I was busy this morning. I used up my brain power for the day. Okay. Now, where for sure do we want these numbers? I could separate them too. They don't have to stay together. Actually, I could do that with the one, couldn't I? Like, you know, put that over here. And then put these here. I think we're going to separate so we can eliminate this gaping thing there. Okay, yeah. Giving an opinion again. Okay, yeah. Well, it was straight, and I made it crooked. Well, it is for the weather report. It is very nice. We've lucked out, and we've had kind of lost track, but several days in a row that were really super nice, and I probably should be outside doing some sort of yard work, but I'm not. Alright. Is this done outside of stitching? Good question. Maybe we'll just kind of set it and think about that. Alright, this is an old, uh, I can't tell if it's cross stitch or needlepoint. You know, it was one of those kits you could send for. 
Well, he could use text or something back there. Where could I possibly get vintage text? Here. Oh, wouldn't this be good for a journal? My, you see that, my solution. Well, maybe we should just take that. Take it and run. these dotted lines on the edge. It's, it's distracting. There's Locust. They heard, <laughs> they heard me and went, oh gosh, we're, we're not buzzing. And Diane's taping, or <laughs> she said it again, filming. Did you get off the videotape phrase, Diane? I can't. All right, I still think we could get away with text or something back there. Just grab something kind of random. Oh, draw winky. All right, here's some knitting instructions here I'm grabbing. It'd be kind of interesting to know. I'm probably the only person who would find this interesting or think about it you know, whatever this was, like sweaters and stuff like that in these magazines, to know how many people actually made it. I kind of would like to know that. Yeah, that's definitely something. But what about this business here? Flowers, tomatoes, you know, that would match, but is it kind of dumb? <laughs> Why did you put squash on there? Because it matched. Years ago, I had an ATC, well, it technically it would have been an ACEO for sale, and it had Queen Victoria on it with, um, you know, just collage business. And I got a question from somebody and they said, because it had some um, large letters on the bottom, and it was just like, you know, LMN or something. It was part of an alphabet thing, which I put on because it, my, the colors matched and I, you know, I liked it. And the question was, do these letters, do they mean something with Queen Victoria? and? I wrote back, which I guess is a legitimate question, but I wrote back and said, no, I just put them on there because I thought the colors matched, and of course they didn't buy it, I never heard from them again. Now this maybe could use some paint behind, what do you guys think? And, you know, if you're all jumping in, up and down saying yes, that means I have to pause because, oh, oh, shoot, <laughs> it fell in there. Because um, I don't have paint handy. Or ink. Maybe we could get by with ink. I have ink right here. There's that, I got this thing. Oh, there's an orangey there. All right, let's try it. If, you know, it looks stupid. It's just an index card. I'll get a new one. That's more yellow than it lo looks. Maybe I could hit it now with some, um, like, walnut stain. What would that do? That's an idea. Of course, I didn't say it was a good idea. I've got a little vintage photo, except I think it's in the bottom of the drawer, so I don't know if I'm going to find it. Or am I going to get yellow on my walnut stained daughter? Well, I'm not a huge 
huge fan of the brown. Let's see. It's okay. I mean, I think paint a little darker would be better, but it's, it's okay. It's fine. Except I think I want some on this side over here. these inks. I'm a pigment ink archival. All right. Most art supplies, I can tell you what they're going to do and stuff. I can't get this in there. Right but I'm a stupid head when it comes to ink. Does that mean you cannot add water to it and it, it'll... Oh, there's an orange. Does that mean it won't uh, run? one up here. It's a here. It's right here. Blue. It's, I don't think they make these anymore. But anyway, it it never it, like it never dries. I mean, and I'm not kidding. I, I, I edged used it as an edge, you know, on something things here and there, and like literally, you know, a year later, you can go like this and get blue on your fingers. I mean. Thanks. I, that's not too cool. Which I don't get it because I had uh, brown versions of that same brand and that was fine. I don't think that came off. I don't know what's with the blue. I should actually just get rid of that. To the falling over glue stick again because it's starting to run out. These I know these are awfully little, but they sure don't seem like they last too long. Uh, goes this way. It's stuck to my counter. Oh, the tromboning stops, but the locusts keep going. Yeah, I never really paid that much attention to it. it. Well, now this is fall, so it's different than summer, but yeah, they don't start buzzing until after, you know, a certain time in the afternoon or something. I walked outside this morning, and I must have, I don't think I stepped on it, but I must have stepped near one that was in the grass, and it, you know, went off. <laughs> I mean, they don't really scare me. They're harmless, but when you're not expecting that, and all of a sudden this big buzz goes off by your foot. A little, a little starling. And I know, there's cicadas. Maybe that's why it buzzed. Stop calling us locusts. It's trying to tell me something. I think the deer were supposed to be under this. Can we lift it? Good. That is one advantage to using a wet glue. I, sometimes it doesn't work, but often you have a little bit of time there where you can lift it. I think though this number is too white for my taste. We're gonna have to crunch that up a bit. Still recording, yes. Yeah, actually, I should yeah, don't say this out loud. I haven't had any technical issues today. The day is young. <laughs> There's plenty of time for that. Okay. Actually, I like the colors of that. All right, last one probably on camera, and it may be the last one for today, I don't know. Like I said, if it was me, 
I could do this all day long, but other people in my house might not, you know, think that's too cool when it comes to dinner time and stuff. So suitable. Dress up, dazzle. High style on a budget. Yeah, we can read, Diane. You don't have to read everything to us. Oh, did I even show you what this was? I don't think I showed you what this was. They're beaded flowers, which actually I'm not a big fan of, but the picture's kind of cute. <laughs> Create a masterpiece of your own. Actually, this uh, color combo here is good, blue and green. So old Wilton cake ad. Actually, that cake is kind of cool. Kinda, it's a, I guess, yeah, it's like a Christmassy ski cottage thing, but it's in pinks. So it's pretty. Alright, have you ever made really decorative cakes like that? I kind of have not. I've, I've made a couple where you, um, what am going to do about the background? It's a whitish text. Where you, um, you know, you just kind of make a sheet cake, but then you cut it certain ways and you can make it into like a castle. I've done stuff like that, but I've never really done wherever that went. The, um, where you have the special, you know, pans and all that. Shedding. Sorry about that. This is a shipping information thing here. That's cut rather poorly. No, I was just trying to cut it out. I wasn't. I was trying to be careful. This needs something. I don't know, maybe even just a color, not really so much an image. Well, here's a bunch of green green yarn. Let's see what this does. Gradient value packs. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know they had those. It's okay. I'm not in love with it. So how do I make myself fall in love with it? I don't know. That's okay. Maybe I'll just glue that down and see what I think. But now the locust kind of stopped. So I like the jungle drums stopping. underneath, so we'll take that next. See, I remember that. I 
are you a person that makes a, if you lay out a, like a more detailed collage and stuff, you take a picture of it so you know where it was to glue down? I've never tried that. I suppose it's, you know, why not? It's a good idea. I like to live dangerously, I guess. <laughs> Maybe this should be ripped. Maybe that's its problem. Except it's awfully close. I'm I'll leave well enough alone with the other edges. Okay. But I think I like that better. Oh, wait. The yarn was under there. Wait, don't glue it down yet. Go more to the right edge there. Okay, last but not least, the beaded flowers. You know, I think, don't go by me, but I think those old beaded flowers are kind of, you know, if you see them in an antique store or something, they're not cheap. Alright, that's okay. Alright, I think that's fine too. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to uh, trim these off when they're dry. And then I think sew on the ones I want to sew on. And then come back. I'm back. They've been sewn upon. So let's give a quick look. This one I just went around. Again, I had to change my thread three times. Not my favorite thing to do. This one, I don't know if you could tell, but it went white on this side and purple on this side. That'd be good in a sewing journal, wouldn't it? But this one, I just did zigzag here and here. And as you can see, sometimes I leave, you know, tails. Sometimes I do not. And this one, I just did a little bit right down the bottom. And this one, we did a little intentional messy. And this one I went all the way around and did change to zigzag on that edge. And this one I just went all the way around. So there they are. This is just some collage cards. I can stick them in journals. They'll live in my box in the basement there, whatever. But it's fun. It's fun to do. It's a good way to use up magazine images if you're trying to, you know, clear out some. But that's it. So that's my project for today. Good luck with your projects. Thanks for joining me and have a nice day.